As you're aware, we're out for a couple of days, but we'll be back bright and early Monday morning. For now, enjoy a classic This Is True Really news from the year 2000. That's 20, that's like 20 years, maybe more. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Burkinis. All the news you're about to hear is true, really, as far as you know. Many Belgians may soon have to pay tax on something even Minnesotans don't have to pay tax on yet. Rainwater draining into the sewers. In Belgium, they're thinking of, uh, anyway, if plans aimed at relieving Belgium's flooded sewage system are approved, rainwater gets taxed. What happens is it'd be levied on folks who fail to disconnect the rainwater pipes from draining into wastewater pipes. In a country with mucho rainfall, mucho and Belgian. Hmm. Hmm. The measure would reduce frequent flooding from overwhelmed sewers and ease pressure on sewage plants. The uh, Flemish government is expected to give the measure the go-ahead this autumn. After being separated from wastewater pipes, rain would then be collected either in separate rainwater pits or th- sent through separate pipes into local reservoirs. Well, Belgium's not that big. They should be able to finish that by Tuesday. You would think. Yeah. Uh, a Thai woman convicted of a drug offense arranged for her adopted daughter to serve the sentence instead. <laughs> wow, I like Thailand. What I want to know is how do you how she talked the daughter into it? This is... She hey. didn't have to. Hey, honey, you're going to jail. Remember when I told you I got you from the jail and I could take you back any time? You're going. And now both face extra time in jail. Oh, it's not right to do that in jail. No, no, they still found him. The police and prison officials who conspired in the scam also face jail time. Police arrested the 40-year-old for allegedly possessing 840 methamphetamine pills, only to discover she should be in jail for a similar offense in 90. 90- Eight. Uh-huh. Apparently, the 28-year-old daughter was serving a four-year sentence instead. Daughter volunteered to serve the sentence to See? show her gratitude to her adopted mo- adoptive mother. Show her gratitude. There's yeah. something twisted about this poor kid. Oh, yeah. The daughter now faces a five-year jail term, and her mother must serve the original sentence, plus another three years for avoiding imprisonment. Both could also face an additional six months for contempt of court. The cool thing is they'll probably be in the same cell block and can pr- participate together in the gang wars. Yeah, you the know, the daughter's already been there, so she can probably help her with, you know, get, learn the ropes. Absolutely. Yeah. Headline, retiree kills driver in fit of taxi rage. The entire story read, a retiree who thought a Mexico City taxi driver was overcharging pulled out a gun and killed him. 71-year-old Vincente Casillas Velasquez was arrested as he tried to escape. That's it. Chet? Sonia Chamberlain, a not big on tradition, went to her wedding in a garbage truck. The 39-year-old bride chose the bizarre mode of transport because new husband Guy Wetton had been driving his truck when he first swept her off her feet. Evidently, her old factory system has shut down shot, long ago. Gone, yeah. Said Chamberlain, it might not sound romantic, but when I saw a guy reversing the truck near my house, <laughs> no one goes backwards like this fella. You know, that, that beeping noise is just a... <laughs> <laughs> it was love at first sight. Wetton's truck was given a makeover and decked out in ribbons and balloons. What did they do with the flies? Well, ben, well, they put them on a little fly tux for a day. I, that'd be good. <laughs> See, yeah. While well, Binman from all over the city came to watch as the cart wended its way to the register office, said the groom, if she could fancy me at the wheel of a dust cart, I knew she must be serious, and we just went on from there. It could be that she was just horny, I suppose. You've been listening to This Is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Burkinis. Send email to lightspeedtitr at hotmail.com.